Hey, brothers and sisters, how y'all doing today, man? I got another quick exhortation and uh, give you a little knowledge on something cool, something I really liked when I first learned it, uh, 2005 on the Beat 01 trustee camp. And uh, yeah, I was at the trustee camp for a little bit. But uh, so anyway, uh, Colossians 115, turn there real quick because I don't want to keep you long. I know y'all's time is valuable and that's one thing I don't want to do. When I'm teaching the words, waste people time with a bunch of nonsense. I want to give y'all cold, hard facts so that y'all can serve our Lord properly. And uh, so anyway, Colossians 115 says in the King James, and I want to show you the change that they made, how it destroys uh, and, and tampers with uh, the revelation God wanted us to have. Okay. So it says, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. Okay. And most all Bibles have changed the word creature. All right. New NIV, the sun is the image of the invisible God, firstborn over all creation. Uh, New Living Translation, this one's bad. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. Anyway. ESV, he's the image of the invisible God, firstborn, over, firstborn of all creation. Uh, and you get the point. But I'm going to read you New King James because that needs to be said. Uh, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. So even the New King James that claims to be a King James just taking out the these and thous, uh, changed it. Okay, so why is that important? Creation, the word creation from creature. Why is it important? And, and see, the beautiful thing about the King James Bible, again, is that it's consistent and it's it's... See, there's doctrines, there's hidden treasures in this Bible that are locked in with cross-references and, you know, words, specific words, and how the Lord trans had them translated so that we could be able to find these revelations. When you go to just playing and tampering with everything and moving and taking out words, you, you lose this revelation. So, and like I said, you know, if you just read the Bible every day for devotional purposes and just uh, get you some motivation to go make some money and all this, okay. Well, that I'm talking about if you ever want to be a real serious student of the Bible, you need to get your King James. Uh, I mean, if you're really serious about this, because I'll show you. I'm going to show you lots of places. But anyway, okay, so Jesus is the firstborn of every creature. Very important. Because if you change the word to creation, guess what? That's a Jehovah's Witness doctrine. Okay? They believe that Jesus was a created God, a lesser God than Jehovah God the Father. So, changing the word of creation fits right in with that heresy, and all the new Bibles follow suit. So, if you think all oh, the new word translation is bad, it's bad. Yeah, your Bible's just as bad. Whatever, whatever fake Bible you're reading, if you are, just saying. Uh, so, we got the real Bible, but I'm gonna tell you why. In the King James Bible, firstborn of every creature. See, if I say, if I say that. Well, the cross-references that the Holy Spirit inserted are going to lead you to what? Firstborn creature. When, you know, if you say creation, where does that take you? It takes you to Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh, creating, creation. Everybody knows. If I say creation, I'm sending you to Genesis. So this Bible sending you to Genesis. Your witness are happy with that. And probably some other cults too, but I'm just going to, for a quick... All right, so check it out. It's so important that we retain the word creature. The word creature uh, has different meanings in the Greek, but it can be creation, creature, or building. Okay? <clears throat> so, uh, and it's important, you know, you go to the Greek, which we don't, anyway, you go to the Greek, you could change words around, and it does mean different things, but it's important that we, you can't just use whichever one you want. It has to be the one the Holy Spirit chose. Okay, so Romans 8, 29. Let me read that real fast. It says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate, to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Okay? Firstborn of every creature, firstborn among many brethren. Okay? So this word creature is going to limit the, the, the doctrine to a certain uh, thing. So, 
Then you know Mark 16, 15, go preach the gospel to every creature. You know? So Jesus wasn't saying go preach the gospel to every bug, fly, cockroach, and, and whatever, dogs, cats. No. That's what creation, you know, that's what that infers. What, what changing the word would. But creature is limited to, uh, you know, people. And so 2 Corinthians 5, 6, 17 uh, if any man be in Christ, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Behold, old things are passed away. Uh, no, old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So it's talking about us, and he's the firstborn of us creatures. We preach the gospel to, to every creature, referring to man. Okay, so when was Jesus first born? It wasn't in Genesis. Matthew one twenty three. Let me go there real fast. Y'all already know it. Some of y'all already like it. Connecting the dots. Matthew 1 23 it says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call him his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And 25, my bad, and knew not her not until she had brought forth her firstborn son, and they, he, he called his name Jesus. So, firstborn among many brethren, uh, firstborn of every a uh, creature, firstborn son, uh, Hebrews 1, 6. I had it with my finger and I lost it. So you know that that, ref, that firstborn means, doesn't mean a, nothing about creation. It means when you were firstborn. In Genesis 10, 15, I'll show you that because in the Bible, like I said, the King James Consistent says, Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn, and Hith. So that firstborn is... You know, it's used in genealogies in the Bible. It's talking about the firstborn. Uh, one six of Hebrews says, uh, "Hold on, hold on." All right, Hebrews one six. I found it. Uh, and again, he, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, "And let all the angels of God worship him." Okay, so you see that, you know. First begotten, first born, they're all talking about the same thing. You know, in the Bible it says so-and-so begat, so-and-so, so-and-so begat. Okay, it's talking about their the birth of a firstborn son. It's not talking about a creation that uh, in eternity past or in Genesis. So see what, what happens when you mess with the words. That's all I want to tell you all today, man. God bless y'all. Study show yourself approved. And uh, have a good day.